Again this afternoon, we welcome you to the Home Depot SEC on CBS. A full house, more than 90,000 gathered at Ben Hill Griffin Stadium in Gainesville, Florida, as the Seminoles come across state from Tallahassee to take on the Gators. It is senior day in Gainesville. And among those who received the most wildly appreciated applause, Ben Troop and Kiwan Ratliff. The Seminoles from Tallahassee and the Gators from Florida. And here come the Gators. They come in having won five in a row. And we have a uh, full crew of ACC officials working this game. Here's Petrovich. We're underway. He went right after Petrovic. <laughs> Taken by Cromartie at the five. He's got some speed. There's a fumble. The ball might be ruled down by contact. Corey Bailey came up with it. Cromartie, the ball is out, Whoa. and his left knee is down. Now, was the knee down before the ball came out? That's the question. His left knee did hit the ground. Boy, that's so hard to tell. Well. First down and 10. Chris Ricks backs in the eye. Play fake. Ricks comes out to his left. Pulls up. Looks deep. Nobody there. Has to scramble, which he does well. But not this time. Where, I mean, he makes great plays and he makes really bad mistakes. You know, there's not a lot of gray area with him. No gain on the last play, so they'll go from the eye again. Dominic Robinson is up top of the screen. He replaces the injured Cafonso Thorpe. Double tight end set. They hand it off to Greg Jones. Power run. And he picks up four yards. Earthlink starting lineup for Florida State. The offensive line. The All-American, Alex Barron. Meinrod, Castillo, Meeks, and Willis. Grafonso for Broken leg. Last game two weeks ago. Greg Jones and Coleman in the backfield. P.K. Sam. Robinson gets the start at the wideout. And Paul Irons is the tight end and right away we see a situation of which receiver is going to step up to fill the gap left by Crafonzo Thorpe the go-to guy in this offense well play Jones gets a block and he is tackled short of the first down at the 39 yard line here is the snap return is on all the way it's not an effective punt it does take a Florida State bounce and hits one of the down men right in the keister Phantom fumble, and now we've got defensive yeah. holding. Things right. have gone the way of FSU early on. First right. down and 10. Might be a shot where Ricks takes a shot deep. There's the toss, and Leon Washington is in. The second of the three uh, tailbacks. What a run. Power run. They have been susceptible throughout the season to a running game. Daryl Lee, Kenny Parker, McDonald, and Travis Harris up front. Matt Ferrier, Reed Fleming, and Channing Crowder. He's a sensational freshman linebacker. And uh, an all-senior quartet in the secondary, Lamar Dixon, Gus Scott, and the All-American, Kiwan Ratliff, so named by the football writers this week. 11-yard gain, first and 10. Opening drive of the ball game. Movement. And we'll see if the mic is working this time. The answer is no. Let's go down to Jill Arrington. Coleman, the fullback, and Washington is the deep back. Quick setup. Ricks nailed from behind. Marcus Thomas. Second down and 20. Reverse. And the handoff coming left side. Wow, good defense. Chris Davis. Ball is down. Yeah, he was down, but that was an outstanding play. The only loss on the LSU ledger this year. Third down and 25. Ricks back with time. Deep. Double coverage. Way down there. Intended for P.K. Sam incomplete. Ratliff, who has nine interceptions this year. Another low kick. Yes, it is. And he's uh, nailed good downfield coverage at the Leak, the 18-year-old freshman, in his eighth start. He's 6-1 and one as a starter. 
Flips it out left side. Flag is down on the near side, thrown at the line of scrimmage. Florida, and over this five-game winning streak, he has certainly... Independence High School, Charlotte, North Carolina. And as we mentioned, uh, became the starter after the Miami loss. Florida loads up with three to the left side, one wide right. And it is a uh, run blitz for the Seminoles. Seatrick facing offensive line Starks and Snell seniors and the other three are sophomores, DeGory, Butler, and Randy Hamm. Rand Carthen, a fifth-year senior, O.J. Small, Perez, Kelvin Kite, and Ben Troop. Well, they talk a lot about the youth of this team, but there are 15 seniors who start on both sides of the ball. This one flipped out to Andre Caldwell, number five, and he... Now the FSU defense, very good front seven. Darnell Dockett making uh, his 48th start today. Womble, Moore, and Emmanuel. The linebackers, Bullware, Augustine, and Kendall Pope. And in the secondary, Rufus Brown gets a start today. B.J. Ward, Jerome Carter, and Sanford, Stanford Samuels complete that list. First and ten, and here is a handoff and no gain. A theatric face and trotted off and uh, is jogging around the sideline. Uh, the trainer trying to catch up with him. Here's a quick clip out to the near side. Perez gets a stinging block from O.J. Small. And that frees him out to the 43-yard line. Rand Carthen is the running back now on third and one. He gets the handoff in a big hole. And he knocks down one of the safeties. B.J. Ward got jolted. Trying to make this tackle. <laughs> Rand Carthen is zeroing in on him and puts that helmet right under the chin and runs through it. First down across the 50 at the 45-yard line, first and 10. High formation. Here's the draw play. Carthen gets a block from Latsko, the fullback, and picks up three. Now O.J. Small lines up tight to the right. He's a wide receiver. And here's Leak. Back goes left side. Little pass underneath. It's complete to Carthen, and that's inside the 35. First down and 10 near the midway point of the opening quarter. This is the first Florida possession. That is behind Dallas Baker. Ninth play of the drive. Carthen gets the handoff, comes to the right side, has Max Starks, one of the senior tackles. Third and seven. Small is the man in motion. Here comes the corner blitz. Leak reads it, goes for Kelvin Kite. Too strong, out of bounds, incomplete. It'll be fourth down. This will be from 47 yards away. Sean Morton, the senior, will hold it. And Casey Griffith, another senior, will snap it back. Good kick. Nice. Got it. 47 away. Opening thrust is successful for the Gators of Florida as Matt Leach knocks it true from 47. And the Gators take a 3-0 lead. Those games of import to Florida and their fans. Here's the Petrovich kick. Flag is down. Fumble. Loose ball. Yeah, they, they picked it up. The only Let's go. Got it, but it might come yeah, back. The only problem is where that flag is laying. It looks like Florida may have been offside. First one gave him that first down on the fourth down punt play, and this one may cost him a touchdown. Illegal procedure is the call. This would be Willie Reed at the 22-yard line. Chris Ricks backs in the eye. Lorenzo Booker is on for the first time, number 28 at tailback. He gets the handoff, comes to his left, and then back up the middle of the field at the 28-yard line. Toss, sweep with James Coleman in front. He gets a terrific block on Johnny Lamar. Boy, they... Booker again. Movement on that right side of the offensive line. One of those safeties, Dixon or Gus Scott, will sneak up to the line of scrimmage right before the ball snap to try to get an extra safety involved. Toss right side again. They keep it on the ground. The other part of that equation is that. The but again, they rotate by series, so Booker's still in there on this third and short. Third and one. 
Ricks, handoff. Booker, first down as he uh, crosses the 50. Sixth play of the drive. The previous five have been on the ground. Here's the first pass of this drive. Ricks looking deep in the middle. Has a man open. And there is a catch and a fumble. Yep, that's going to be called a fumble. Oh, now they're waving it off incomplete. Oh, boy, this crowd's going to go crazy. And now... We have a dead ball. Personal by the defense. That's a 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down. Gus Scott is going to be the guy that's going to knock the ball loose. Was it a catch? That's a catch. That should have been a fumble. And Florida State on the 35-yard line. Trailing by three. And Mo Mitchell, a part of a controversial play last year. Here's uh, the player stop. Oh, uh, they're going to rule this one down by contact. You know what? <laughs> in replaying the last play in which Booker was ruled. Now see, I, I could see how they could have called that for his momentum was stopped. Right. Forward progress. Channing Crowder had him stood up, and they ripped the ball out late. Greg Jones in the tailback now on second down. Play fake. Ricks deep in the middle. Got a man wide open. Caught. Touchdown. FSU. Dominic Robinson, number 21. <laughs> right to the back of the end zone by Chris Ricks. Extra point from Bathia is up and good. And part of that is the Florida defense frustrated that they weren't getting the calls, maybe lost their concentration, and Chris Ricks made them pay for it. Words of congratulation and some advice at the same time. And here is Caldwell at the four. Andre Caldwell gets a couple of blocks, skips across the 25, and is down at the 28. Don't forget the opening kickoff could have been called a fumble as well. They ruled him down before the ball came out. Here's a reverse for Florida. This is Calvin Kite, number two. Fights to the 35-yard line. Uh, no, and I'll try and get it right next time, Tim, I promise. Second down and three. They fake the quick screen, the handoff. And Eric Moore was not deceived at all. We've got nine men up now, two deep. Not backing out. And they send only four. Here's Leak going deep for his tight end. He's got troop. 31 yard gain on the 36th catch of the season for Ben Troop, a finalist for the John Mackey Award. And we've reached it. That's the end of one, seven to three. We'll return to Ben Hill Griffin Stadium after this message and a word from your local station. Seven to three in Chris Leak. And the Gators have a second down and eight at the FSU 38-yard line. Here's the pass left side. It is incomplete. Has his team moving the football in scoring territory again. Third and eight, O.J. Small is in motion wide to the right. Three-man rush for FSU. Leak will dance out of there but uh, is nearly decapitated as he gets to the 30-yard line. You see the final on Tennessee, so they've done their part to, uh, to stay in the hunt. Here's the field goal attempt from Leach. Wide left from 48 yards away. So Matt Leach is one of two now. First down and 10. Well, after this play, I'll tell you why that's so important to get it done then instead of waiting till Monday. Here's Ricks, and off Greg Jones. And he is out to the 39-yard line. Has gone to the air only four times, three times thus far. Sweep right side with Greg Jones. And he's going to be brought down close. <laughs> Chauncey Stovall is in the field now. He and Robinson are the wideouts. Stovall top of the screen, number 15. Florida showing a blitz look. They are coming that's reed fleming and greg jones breaks a tackle well, he dropped the ball though the ball is on the ground at the end of the play they're ruling him down fsu on top virtue of a 35 yard pass three wideouts in the field now here's a handoff again and this is leon washington skipping out to the right side first down and 10 at the 44 7 to 3. second quarter here's the toss washington as Coleman in front cuts inside of his block. Look how elusive he is. 
High formation, toss, sweep, right side. And Washington inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. And that, that doesn't bode well for the Gators. Seventh play of the drive, previous six. It all been runs. Here's the flip left side. There's the catch inside by Chris Davis, number wow. five, the freshman. And another first down. At the On the ground, Washington. Nothing doing this time. Stephen Harris, the second and ten. Ball carrier slip. Washington is down. Third and eleven. Ricks keeps it on the ground. Nice move, Washington. Short, however, of the first down. Fourth and one. This from 28 yards out. Cuts it inside the right upright. And that extends the FSU lead to seven points. We play in Gainesville, 10 to 3, FSU. Will kick off for Florida State after the field goal. They lead 10-3. And here is Andre Caldwell moving up and grabbing it just short of the 10. Now he comes left. Can he get around the corner with a stiff arm? Yes, but there's pursuit that takes him down, and a flag goes down with him. Well, take a look at this play. 10 to 3. Casey Anderson is going to be the guy that's going to get called for the penalty for a late hit, but he's actually blocked in the back into the pile and they called a personal foul on florida state i'm not so sure that should have been a personal foul on the kid from florida state on first down from the 49 leak finds kelvin kite kelvin kite out to the right side sixth straight win it's going to be up to the dcs difference and be within five of georgia if that were the case then they would win the head-to-head -head with the georgia bulldogs because they beat them in jacksonville here's perez left side if Pittsburgh would beat Miami, that would hurt Tennessee's quality win part of that formula. So Matt Leach is going to look right up at him as he kicks this football. Here's the snap, the hole, the kick is on the way, and this one looks perfect. Yep. Oh, got the good bounce. The junior gets a break on senior day. First kickoff of the game, they went right after Petrovich. The last two, they've kind of let him run down the field. And they're, they're going to let him go this time. <laughs> but he's not running as fast as he did before. Washington brings it out from three deep. Look out. Look out again. Foot race. Leon Washington caught and out of bounds inside the 25. Chad Jackson, the wide receiver. First down and 10, FSU leads by, by four. And off right side, Booker tries to turn the corner. Channing Crowder bumps him out of bounds at the 20-yard line. One receiver set, two tight ends, two backs, a power football set, and they're going to go play action. And they've got a man wide open. It's Henshaw, the tight end. Touchdown. First of the season for Matt Henshaw. Excellent job of play calling by Jeff Bowden. Bobby's son has been under fire. For the extra point. Up and good. 20 yards. Matt Henshaw, first touchdown of the season. It's only the fourth catch he's made in 2003. Special teams, big plays in the special teams in a good ball game like this. And there's a bad play on the special teams for oh, Florida boy. State. First down at the 35, Chris Leak. Play fake, backs up, pulls up. Now, nailed. Can't hold the ball against this defense. Kendall Pope. Front seven, really, of uh, Florida State. There's the quick flip. Watch out. Yeah, they read that one. Rufus Brown. On third down, here's Leak. Deep right side. Kelvin Kite is there. Wow, and they got him. Oh. Third.
third down and really long, there's only certain places you can throw it against cover two, and Chris Leak stuck it in there. On first down, here's Faison. It was third and 21. All right, Tim, thanks for helping us uh, keep it all straight back there. Second down and four. Here's Leak. Being chased. Caught. Second sack. Yep. See, this defense. That is the second sack of Chris Leak. It's the seventh and a half this season for Eric Moore. Out of the shotgun, three-man rush for the Seminoles. And that one is short of the first down at the 46-yard line, the cart of this five-game win streak. Averaging 45 yards per punt in the season. This one. They need a three and out with a minute 22 left in the half. They've got all three of their timeouts. If they can get a couple stops here, they can get the ball back to their offense. On the ground, that's Greg Jones left and uh, moves the ball effectively out to the 24-yard line. Well, first down and 10 after the 11-yard gain by Jones. Final 45 seconds, Jones on the pitch. 17 to 6, they lead it. Ricks also found Matt Henshaw with a, a touchdown pass. 17 to 6 at the half. And we're going to spend the halftime back in New York with Tim Brendo. Let's go back to Tim right now. Also back. And this will be Caldwell at the six. And we say Caldwell's baby brother gets it out only. So they do have a little hope going against this Seminole defense, but a lot of problems in that first half moving the football. Here's Leak in trouble. Throws up an air ball. That could be intercepted. Oh, he's lucky. And it should have been. Jerome Carter, second down and ten. He'll go from the spread. Mike DeGory, the center, snaps it back. Three men lined up wide to the right. He comes near side. And Kelvin Kite avoids the tackle and flies down the sideline. And see, that's the way he's got to throw the football. Third reception for Kelvin Kite. The senior from Lithonia, Georgia. And off, Seatrick Faison. All right, Coach, well, thank you. Second and seven, flip it's out. Pass. It's yes, not it open. is. Oh. And they come back to Chris Leak. He's got three blockers in front. Here's the 18-year-old quarterback going to his left, nice nailed call. at the 26. What a nice call by Ed Zonbrecker. That's a gain of 30 and a first down at the 25-yard line. Fake the draw, leak back to got throw. Tripp. He's got Ben Tripp, who has to adjust and does. Had to go from his right to his left, made the grab in Florida with a quick strike to open the third quarter. And exactly the same way that Florida State scored the they're going to go for two. Yeah, they're going for two, but they don't look like they all know what Ben Troop wasn't sure what they were doing. Now here's Zonbrecker with the call. You see Leak look back, and they adjust, and Faison goes to the left. See, they still have time. There's 12 seconds on the play clock because they didn't huddle. So they have time to make the change. And they run it. Nice. And they get it. That was a design quarterback run. They faked it to the running back, Faison. And Chris Leak got the football across the plane. What a way to start. Mm. The try for two is good. The touchdown pass to Ben Troop. I know Kellen Winslow is a very gifted tight end. This young man's not far behind. Now and cover this kick better than they did the last kickoff. An intentional pooch kickoff. Oh. Mm. Out of bounds at the 25-yard line at Tennessee. Six years of leaks at quarterback for Independence High School. Here's the handoff to Greg Jones, right side to the 30-yard line. Greg Jones occupies the spot right now. It's second down and seven. Here's the toss to Jones. Goes right. Slips and falls as he tries to cut behind the block of his fullback. Rick's back, under pressure, screen pass, left side. Jones is stopped. Randolph averaging 11 and a half yards per return. This one very high, and Ratliff calls for the fair catch, grabs it at the 34-yard line. First down at the 34-yard line, a three-point ball game, 17-14. Here's the handoff. Out to the 39-yard line, it's Ran Carthen. Front. 
an excellent call at that point in the game. Leak, right side, caught, first down across the 50. Carlos Perez, number 23. That gives uh, Florida a first down at the 45. Leak is 12 out of 16. Backs up, goes left side, finds a receiver. Flag is down as well. There, last year when they played North Carolina, Bobby Bout, first down and 15. 17 to 14, Florida State leads. The handoff, Carthen tries to get out of control, uh, out of trouble. And second and 15. That's Ben Troop who lines up to the left side. Play fake, Leak ties the screen. It's tipped, oh, almost boy. intercepted. Whoa. Chauncey Davis, number 94. That's an incidental face mask, five-yard version against the defense during the down. Five yards, previous spot, repeat second down. That's very unusual in college football. Most teams have one or two guys that can make big plays. They got eight. Option play. The pitch back to Carthen turns the corner. Has Lats go in front. Nice call. Surges inside the 35 first down. As Carlos Perez was out there providing blocking help as well. Now the cutback is uh, Ryan Carthen starts right, gets inside the 30. Well, <laughs> all 10. Second down, screen pass, right side, Carthen. That was a little slow developing. He does get. Stanford Samuels, the best corner, coming on a blitz right here. Left side, and because of the blitz, that will bring on Matt Leach for the fourth time. He is two for two. This one from two for three. This one from 42 yards away. Morton with the hold. Leach. Got it. We are tied. Now well, you said once they had the ball, they needed to do yep. something with it. They've done that twice. Scored both times. They found a little room to run. And Chris Lee has played with poise and got his team tied with the Seminoles here in the third quarter. With the field goals today, here's Petrovic, and this is a very, very short kick. Taken by Willie Reed at the near side, out of a tackle, and another long run and on the kickoff. Be, that might be 15 more yards. And Florida State has the ball. They were three and out on their only possession of this quarter. They've got it at the 43, the handoff left side. Washington cuts back inside and is down at the 37. And hopefully uh, it'll be enough to get us in the game next week. Aren't your expectations that you will be? Here's the handoff. It comes left. Uh, and Leon Washington out of bounds inside the 20. And to go 10-2 uh, was, was, was really special considering all the things that we had to overcome all year long. Mark, stay with us for one more play. Here's Ricks in the end zone, and it is overthrown. Ratliff actually made the grab uh, for the interception, but was out. And I'm just proud of the coaches and the players and everybody involved in this program. Mark, congratulations to you. We'll let you try and get out of the traffic and right, uh, probably see Nick Lee. Okay, Mark. Bye-bye. Loss of three, third and 13 tie game blitz coming. Didn't time it quite right, but Ricks is in trouble. He is elusive. He dropped he the ball. Can't he yes, he did, ball. and here goes Keyron Radliff. The senior from Columbus, Ohio, strides in for the score. Gus Scott made the play, a tremendous play by the senior safety. Played their first game together. B.J. Ward is up, the kick is through. Ron Zook's team came out in the third quarter and they have dominated. They've also grabbed the lead. It's 24 17. And Petrovic will kick it off. Again, this one returnable. Taken by Leon Washington. He had a 77 yard return in the first half. You no know, need to really change philosophy for Florida State. They just need to stick with their running game, their short passes. Ricks, right side, out of a tackle. 
P.K. Sam out to the 40, 34 yard line. Although this game still very much up in the air. First down and 10 after the 13 yard gain. Here's the toss right. Booker and Daryl Dixon, number 34. Second down and eight. Five and a half to go, third quarter. Ricks with a handoff on the draw play. Good defensive job by Reed Fleming. Looks on his son Jeff with the play call. Third and eight. And the play clock at one. Ricks dancers right. Goes forward. Did not get it. That's Just close. short. It's awful close. He it's not going to be Keywon Ratliff. Vernell Brown is back to return the punt. This one backs. Oh, what are you oh my goodness. <laughs> He got away with it. Yes, he did, but it was ill-advised. And off left side, here's Faison, breaks out, and is talked at the, uh, just short of the 20, and is watching this game on Armed Forces Network. Lieutenant Ward Urban. Left side, Faison, not there. Birds crash, die there because they think it's a lake. I mean, it happens all the time. <laughs> oh, goodness. Out to the 23. Right. Fumble. Pat Watkins has it. And the play will stand. That is a touchdown. Yes. Face it looking around saying, isn't anybody going to say that I was down? And all the officials have abandoned him. Florida State fans wondering, why did you punt on fourth and one? Well, we've had a great defense all year. Let's count on him again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Darnell Dockett with the tackle. But if anyone was down before the ball came out, it sure looked like Faison was down there. We've seen a handful of plays like that in this football game. That one looked fairly obvious. Bathia with the kick just inside the right upright. Hey, but watch his face and his tackle by Darnell Dockett. He's down. That's at least three times tonight we've seen fumbles negated or allowed. It looked yep. like that today. I'm not so sure it's hard to tell. Oh, there, now there, that's a look that yep, gives it a little. Yeah, that one. Yep. It is. That one did come out. And a, a replay that seemed to confirm the rightness of it. Here's the uh, kickoff again. Short by Batia. And uh, Andre Caldwell out near the 30-yard line. Ball in the 29 on first down. Here's Carthen coming to the right. Scoots through across the 30. to the 33-yard line, O.J. Small, number 11. So he knows they're not going hurry up, so he has time to get the personnel on the field that he wants. Three-man rush for Florida State, third and five, and Leak will take out. And uh, is forced to go down short. That's 34, I'm going down right here. Here is the punt from Eric Wilbur, fair catch. Called and taken at the 20-yard line with Leon Washington. Now the deep back, Coleman is the fullback. And off to Washington spill. That player's meeting was called second and ten. Tie ball game, 24 all. Flip it out left side, man open. Nice. Robinson, wow. yes it was. He got in between. That's the end of the third with a score 24 all. We'll return to Ben Hill Griffin Stadium right after this message and a word from your local station. 24 all. Vern Lundquist, Todd Blackledge, Jill Arrington at Ben Hill Griffin Stadium. And here is Chris Ricks to throw. And he settles for a pass in the flat from Leon Washington as we uh, second down and five. Here's Ricks with a handoff. Leon Washington darts to the right, then back to the left. Washington is the deep back in the eye. He gets the handoff. And there's stiff resistance that will deny him the first down. Reed Fleming would turn Jesse Stein's punt on fourth down. He ran into him. Yep. This one's going to come back. Not a rule in college football. A guy rushing the punter has to avoid the kicker on his own. Running into the kicker by the defense. That's a five-yard penalty. The yardage results in the first down. 
Lorenzo Booker now takes his spot in the backfield. He comes right and picks up one and a half yards. 24 all, early fourth quarter. Ricks will throw after the play fake. Goes left into the flat for Booker. Nice. Beautiful tackle. Gus Scott. So his mother not here on senior day. Third and 12. Fake toss. Ricks pulls up, goes deep left side. There's double coverage, and Dixon is back there to cover P.K. Sam. Play Florida State, because they should pin Florida back here again. Nice and high for Stein, and a fair catch. Call by Ratliff. And they do. Worst field position to start a drive for Florida today. Play fake, leap. Goes deep, he's got Troop. Here goes Ben Troop. What a play call. What a play call. 24-24. On first down, here's a quick screen out to the left side. Andre Caldwell across the 50 to the 47. Can run all the routes, great hands. Good with the ball after the catch. Second down and three. Play fake, leak, pumps, screen pass, left side. Seattle facing. Gets a little drop from an offensive lineman. And he is inside the 35-yard line. You know, I got it. I got Faison sits for the moment, first down and 10. There's a shovel pass underneath, inside the 20, Rand Carthen. How about Ed Zonbrecher? Run, pass, screens, trick plays. First down and 10. Here's another option. Pitch back left side. It's Carthen, the senior. Out of bounds at the 11. Coming out from their own six-yard line. Here's Leak back. Goes right. Throws it deep in the end zone and throws it away. Good decision. Well, I just think he's done a great job of bringing Chris Leak along bit by bit through this season, giving him more and more of the offense. Leak. Oh, wow. For all the good he has done, the ball was thrown perfectly by Chris Leak, not only in the right spot, but at the right time. Matt Leach to break the tie, to attempt to break the tie from 29 yards away. Whoops. Good ball foul. All sides by contact on the defense. The five-yard penalty results in a first down. Keep your eye on Chauncey Davis, number 94. Well, take a look in here now. Oh, I'll tell you what it was. The center went late. First down and goal at the six. They'll keep it on the ground. Carson nailed. Nine left, just under. And it's second down and goal in a tie game. Perez in motion. Lee pumps deep left side for O.J. Small too far. 18 of 27 thus far for Chris Leak. Third and goal. Two wides to the right side. And Leak sprints. Here's another shovel pass. And Carthen is nailed. And this one from 28 yards. Casey Griffith will snap it. Matt Leach holds it. Or kicks it. And it is up and good. But oh, what might have been. The biggest play toward the end of the drive was the incompletion off the hands of Ben Fruit. He booms this one. Unreturnable. Chris Ricks takes it out of the spread. Drills it, and it's caught by Robinson up at the 33-yard line. They, an important series right now for Chris Ricks in the Seminoles. Florida brings six. Ricks across the middle. He's got B.K. Sam. Very nice. Yes, it was. And that's a, a first and ten Florida State after a 20-yard game. First down and ten. Now, you've got credibility. <laughs> Dan was the man, I'll tell you. Ricks overthrows. Oh. Robinson made the catch. He went up while we were away. Offside indicated against Florida. They marched off five. Play action again. Ricks down the middle. Man wide open. At the 10. At the two-yard line. It's the tight end, Donnie Carter. 
Under seven to go. First and goal. Washington driven back. Fumble. Yeah, he fumbled it. He sure did. Florida thinks they have it. I thought Washington fell right on the ball. Second that, down. The fumble was recovered by the fumbler, making it second down. We have a dead ball. Washington did fumble the football, tried to reach it over the goal line, but he fell on top of it. Crowder caused the fumble. Now, the ruling is that Washington recovered it, but Crowder came out of the pile with the ball. And when they said it wasn't his ball, he took it out on the football. Quarterback keeper, no. Third and goal, just inside the one. Hand off. Don't believe he got it. I don't get that. Now he is. is. Fourth now and goal he is. is. Yeah. Okay. Bring in the battering ram. Fourth and goal. Quarterback sneak. He got it Touchdown. over. Yep, he got the ball over. That was a nice jump by Chris Rex. He hesitated just enough so that he could get a good leap and stick the ball over the goal line. Watch Chris Ricks. Little step back, pause, and then stretch that ball over the plane of the goal line and then protect it. What a series. Extra point. Bathia up. Good. He asked for it. He was given the opportunity. He almost scored before he left his feet. FSU leads to get the lead for Florida State. Here is a very high, very short kick. Almost dropped and picked up. And it is uh, returned out near the 40-yard line. The field goal only brings him within one. So good field position to start for Chris Lee. Play fake on first down, the pump, and then deep. He goes for Carlos Perez and overthrows him by three or four yards. Second down and 10. Leak steps up, he'll run. Gets a block from O.J. Small. He's got a first down at the 46-yard line. See, he didn't do that in the first half. First down and 10, a 13-yard game. And off, Carthens starts right. Bolts out of the tackle inside the 40 to the 38. 31-27, Seminoles lead. Carthen. What breaks the tackle, picks up the first down. What? First and 10, 346 to go. This is Carthen again, the senior. Picks up three. A three-man defensive front now. Quick snap, screen pass out to the left side. Good job of blocking. Yeah. And OJ Small. Every now and then you see him jump up and down if he makes a play or if he misses a throw. Third and two. Leak. Caught behind the line. Look at him struggle. I don't think he got enough. But they're changing the play. They, they're setting it up. Fourth and two. FSU showing a blitz. They're coming. Lee comes out to the left. He'll run for it. He's got it. Out of bounds at the 25. Leak has two receivers wide right. Fakes the handoff. Goes deep in the middle for Truth. He's there. Catches 121 yards. Sean Morton controls the snap, which was a little high. And Ben Troop from Augusta. Ben Troop going to run right down the middle, run past the safety. And what a perfect throw to the back line of the end zone. Ben Troop just needs one foot in. No bobble on the catch. One foot in, touchdown. Lanes and cover this kickoff. Here's Petrovich, booms it. Washington will bring it out from three yards into the end zone. He is a speedster, but there's good coverage at the 28-yard line. Plenty of time for Chris Ricks. They only need a field goal to tie the game, and they've got one timeout in their pocket. 
Hand off, right side, Booker, ankle tackle, Daryl Dixon. Three wides, two to the left, one to the right. Four down for Florida. Football! Ricks gets it, but he's tackled at the 24. Boy. Corners back off. They're going to give him a little room. Ricks goes deep. He's got a man open. Oh, he overthrows him. P.K. Sam was there. Now it's fourth and 14. Left side, man open, Robinson, what first down throw. at the 48. What a clutch throw by Chris Ricks. 107 to go, they need a field goal to tie and send it into overtime. Ricks, forced right, pulls up, goes deep for P.K. Sam, adjusts, caught it, touchdown! Becomes important. Bathia got it. But credit Chris Ricks. Five plays, 72 yards, the last 52 to PK Sam. And again, that Bathia extra point means Florida's got to have a touchdown. Andre Caldwell. Heading right, down the sidelines and out of bounds. One timeout remaining, the ball on the 31-yard line. 38-34, Florida State. Right side, and the uh, defender slipped, and the ball is incomplete, intended for Kelvin Kite. Leak will scramble. This takes a lot of time. Yes, it does. It takes a lot of time to... Time for a quick prayer. Third down. Here's Leak. Left side. That'll stop the clock for the first down. The good news for Florida. They're used to going without a huddle. I mean, that's kind of the way they play the whole game. They just have to speed it up now. Leak has to run. Gets out of bounds. And then struck on first and ten from 52 yards away. Here's Leak. Goes deep. Nobody down there. That one is... Uh, against NC State in double overtime. Third and seven. Leak wings it deep, incomplete, out of bounds. And it didn't work out. He didn't make any changes today. Here's the final play of the game. Leak being pressured, pulls up. He's going to have to run. And this becomes the ultimate improvisation. He's got to score. The game is over because he does not. Chris Ricks, an improbable comeback. And Bobby Bowden wins number 342. The Florida State Seminoles back to a 10-win season. And they will be bound for a BCS Bowl game.